Hi everyone, it's Lauren from Crafty Hippie here. If you don't know who I am, I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator in the UK. Today we're going to be making this gorgeous card. It features the Butterfly Basic stamp set and the Bold Butterfly Framelit dies. So I'm going to show you the products as I go along, because um, this is actually, I think, about the fourth attempt at this video today. I've been having a few technical issues, and I've discovered that if I make the videos too long, then I can't upload them. So um, there's a few things where I've had to sort of pre-prepare stuff so that we can fit it all in. So uh, first of all, we're going to make the card front and I've cut out a butterfly and a piece of card from the bold butterfly framelit dies. Um, in this pack you get a big butterfly and a little butterfly. So you cut it out on a piece of card and you use that as a template to sponge your butterfly on your card front. So we're using some marina mist. We don't have to do this neatly at all uh, because the butterfly is going to be layered on top of with other butterflies and being a little bit rough kind of gives it that shabby chic look. So you just layer the colour up and when you're happy then you're done. As you can see I've put some post-it notes on just to hold um, the stencil in place. So I've just done that with a sponge, stamping up cell sponges, especially for this effect. I'm going to take my Knight of Navy and the um, honeycomb stamp. I'll just show you the stamp set quickly. This is Butterfly Basics. Really gorgeous, loads of lovely stamps there. There are 11 in that set. So I'm going to take the honeycomb stamp and just stamp over. I haven't even bothered to re-ink. There we go, that's absolutely fine. So apart from the sentiment, this is the only bit of stamping that you need to do for this card. So that doesn't look very impressive at the moment, but when we layer it up. So I've cut some, um, some little butterflies from the smaller die. Now when you're cutting out the silver glimmer paper, what you need to do is place the die down on this shiny part. If you place it on the rough glittery part, then you're going to obviously blunt your die. So I've cut two of those out and we just want to stick the dark blue butterfly on top of the silver butterfly. Oops, just like that and just place them at a slight angle so you can see one behind the other. And then you just stick that down on the middle of your sponged and stamped butterfly on your card base. Um, obviously I'm just sort of doing this really roughly for the purposes of the video. And then you take one of our metal rimmed pearls. They come in three different sizes and I'm using the largest size. And you just place that in the middle. Next we need to do the sentiment. Now I'm not sure this little bit of card actually is going to be big enough. Let's do another one. And I'm just going to cut that quickly. That was the bit I forgot to prepare. And we're going to put that on the front of our card. And a little bit of white baker's twine. some stamping die dimensionals on the back of this just to hold it all down leaving a space for the white baker's twine to run between fill that off I've used four you probably don't need to use that many pop that on there Now all the details will be um, uploaded onto my blog, the video will go up first and then the blog post will follow, but you'll be able to find a list of supplies and that's over at my website www.craftyhippie.co.uk um, I do try and post something up every single day, not, not a video necessarily but there's usually a blog post with a card or a project that you can copy and share. So you'll find all the information over there and um, there's also a, a link to the shop. 
place that on the front of the card. And there we have it. Knight of Navy, elegant butterfly card. Really simple, really quick. Great when you need to come up with a card quickly. Obviously, um, you can put a piece of Whisper White inside or, or use a white or silver pen. Put a white piece inside, a bit of stamping, and there you have it. Beautiful card. I'll just show you. I've made one in pink, just so you can see how they compare. Okay, so as I say, all the details on my blog. Um, thank you for watching. See you soon.